Commissioning a sunlight backup system is similar to commissioning a PV with battery backup system. This is Danny with Enphase Training. In the following, I'll review sunlight backup commissioning details. Launch the installer app. Locate or create the system you are working on. In the devices section, be sure to add all of the equipment, including at least one IQ load controller. After you've set up the devices and array items, and scan the serial numbers for all the pieces of equipment, locate site configuration, where you will set up the additional advanced features, including load control. Select auxiliary contact configuration and configure each of the load control circuits. Note that NC1 and NC2 terminals shown here are located on the second port of the IQ system controller one over from the left. NO1 and NO2 are on the leftmost connector. NC1 and NC2 connections are used before NO1 and NO2. Select load control. Enter a name for the circuit, such as internet equipment, circuit 1. Enphase recommends connecting your internet equipment to the first load control circuit, and then changing the mode of this to manual operation. This will configure this circuit to operate whenever possible, if there is sufficient sunlight available when off-grid. All the other loads should be configured to run on a scheduled basis if you want to run them on sunlight backup. This means they could run from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's just an example. For the schedule mode, you can change these settings to any time window between 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. to match your local sunrise sunset conditions. It's also possible that you have loads that you only want to run when the grid is up because they consume lots of power, such as a large water pump. For those items, you'd select the basic mode. Be careful to only allow homeowner manual controls override for appropriate loads, then tap Save. Now tap the Back button and complete the standard commissioning process. Near the end of the process, just before the system functional validation, you will be guided to complete the auxiliary contact validation to test your work. Then you will test the entire system, including sunlight backup protected circuits. In order to test a sunlight backup system, there must be enough sunlight to power the loads. It's time to complete the auxiliary contact validation tests. When you press the validate then the yes buttons, the associated contactor will open and the connected circuits with loads will turn off. If item switched off as expected, that means the test passed. Now we'll test the second auxiliary contact circuit. Tap validate, yes, wait for the load to turn off, and if it does, your IQ load controller installation and configuration is successful. Soon after completing the auxiliary validation tests, your loads will automatically switch back on. Be sure to allow time for a system to resume operation after items were switched off or for an overload scenario. Educating the homeowner about the capabilities and limitations of a sunlight backup system will help them have a good experience. Sunlight backup is a great way to keep essentials running when the grid is down.